Welcome back to the Fox Shop. Hey, um, today we're going to be doing something a little different. I have, uh, this truck has an exhaust leak and it's right where the collector from the, the factory manifold, exhaust manifold, let me get a little light here. It's right where the uh, collector down in there. Where that flange is down there, it's leaking. I'll probably show you better from down below. Get out of here, cat. Yeah. Damn things. Why they all of a sudden decided they should come in here? Um. Anyway, let's see if I can get situated here. And that flange. Let's see where other oh, is. Right. Right. I'm gonna light cooperate. Flange right, right up there. You can see that n bottom nut. I'm not sure what you can see. What you can't see. I can barely see my viewfinder. Um, is loose. I can push up on the catalytic converter here, and you can see it move. Well, right there. And uh, it causes one heck of an exhaust leak. So I've been soaking it with. Um, PB blaster and liquid wrench overnight, and uh, I want to see if first I want to see if I can just tighten it, which I don't know if I can. I rather doubt it. If I can, great. This won't take very long. If not, yeah, you know, your cats. Hot oh, damn things. Scoot. Um. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can just tighten that flange up. If not, which is what I'm suspecting. Uh, I got some new studs for it yesterday. And I will see if I can get the nuts off so I can get the flange apart. There's another cat. They're all over the damn place. Cats don't like being sprayed with water very much. Anyway, um, if I can't... Just tighten, I'll see if I can get the nuts off of it and get the flange apart. And then see if I can get those studs out, put new studs in and tighten it up that way. Um, I hope I'm not getting myself into a world of hurt. Also, yesterday when I was leaving work, right back, that light isn't plugged in. Um, I was sitting in my truck and I was just letting it warm up for just a minute or so before I take off like I always do and the inside was starting to fog up like something was smoking under the hood well it didn't smell like smoke so I came out and I opened the hood the initial thought that went through my head was the air conditioning belt was slipping um, since I just did my air conditioning and so I shut it off I opened up the hood and it was this all covered with looked like antifreeze so I tasted it well it wasn't antifreeze that's for damn sure and so then I turned my air conditioner back on and it, it was seriously leaking right back in the manifold area. I'll shoot you up over here. I don't know. I can't see what I'm doing here. I'll see. Yeah, right back in here with that manifold block down under there. Somewhere in there it was leaking. I don't know if an O-ring got pinched or got pushed out or what. So I'm gonna have to take that apart and and uh, see what's going on there. That hose, out of here, you fucker! The hose for the air conditioning. Yeah, well, after I shoot these cats, I'll show you. Bastards! They'll stay out of here after a little while. They're as curious as could be. This hose, right here. That goes down and down into there. As you can see down in there, it is one rusty, ugh, it's a rusted up piece of shit. And initially I thought that's got to be what's leaking, but I couldn't, it's back behind there somewhere. I could tell that because I could hear it hissing after I shut my truck off. It was still leaking just a little bit. And, um, so I have a new one of those. I went to Wrench and Go and I pulled one. 
that's in 10 times better condition than this one. And pretty simple to replace, just gotta take it off. Uh, see up here, and the back of the compressor, and then it just feeds up along there underneath those little clip things, and it screws in right in the back of the dryer right back here. So pretty easy to replace. Uh, I'll probably do that while I'm mad. I'm gonna have to run to the auto parts store, which the nearest one is about 15, 20 miles away, get some uh, Freon, and uh, recharge the whole thing. So I'll do that after I attempt the exhaust. Yeah, cat repellent. Need to refill my water bottle. Um, that really shouldn't be very difficult. More time consuming than anything. I don't have to replace any parts. Well, I do the hose, but it's, it's pretty simple. Um, other than that, that's pretty much what I'm working on today. So, first things first, I'm going to see if I can tighten that exhaust up, which I doubt. And then I'm probably going to be getting myself into a mess. I don't know. I figure I can get it up in there one way or another. Right now, it is so... I can't get a very good picture of it, but... Um, it's so loose, I'm basically about running an open header on the right-hand side. And I went underneath there with a welding glove uh, the last night or two nights ago, I don't know. And I pushed up on the exhaust, and it'll seal right up without... It doesn't have to move very much, and it seals right up. So if I could tighten it just a little bit, um, I'm in business, so... Anyway, that's what I'm going to get to work on, um, and I'll let you know how I'm doing. I'll, I'm going to try to position the camera under there so you can see what I'm doing exactly, but I don't know if I have enough room. But I'll try. Otherwise, I'll see you here in just a little bit. I just came back here for a second. I thought I'd show you before I got started. Oh, let's see here. Let's take this over here. Just in case... Uh, Somebody's doing the same thing. The studs for this, and if I find out differently as I get into it, of course I don't have this to... Darn bag open. There, sorry about that. Uh, let's see, the studs go up in there. These, it's a Dorman, and the part number is 03. Focus, focus, not focusing. 03135. So, oh, that's not focusing. There you go. 03135. Exhaust flange hardware kit. Comes with four studs and four nuts. So, hopefully, I can just get it tightened, but we'll see. So, hold on. Well, I managed to get the um, nuts off of the studs. What I'm looking at, actually, they didn't come off too bad. Um, I use this WD 40 rust release penetrant, penetrant spray, which I used before when I did the, the uh, radiator support, and I really liked it. Um, I'm sure PD Blaster or anything would have worked just fine, but there's the flange. I'm pointing at it, let's see. Yeah, right there. Problem with it is you get it up in place. Yeah, easier said than done, I guess. Like that. And the problem is it's bottoming out up up in that area. It's bottoming out on that, that square piece right there. So it won't it isn't catching the pipe. It's just the hole in it is uh it's corroded enough where it's just a little bit too big and it won't uh, it doesn't catch the flange on the pipe to hold it up in place so I've got a couple options I think um, I got to go to the store anyway and get me some uh, some Freon or refrigerant whatever you want to call it and there's a couple auto parts places up there. I'm going to see if I can get some type of a repair flange. 
and make that work. I can cut this one off and make it work somehow. Or if I can't, I may have to uh, push the pipe down just a little bit or something and get this in position. I don't know. If I could weld it, weld this onto the pipe, maybe. I don't know. Um, it's just not very good. What I need to. I need a, a new flange. Looking online, I couldn't find anything, so I don't know. I'm just going to go up there and see what the hell I can find. I turned this around. I thought maybe that would get it, but I uh, just don't think it's going anywhere. So anyway, that's what I'm looking at. So I'm going to head off to the parts store and, and uh, see what I can find. So I'll be back in a little bit. Well, part one is a success. It's actually about mid-afternoon right now um, and getting very hot and humid, but um, I tell you what I did, I, I went up trying to find a uh, repair flange or a split flange or something and everybody looked at me like I was, they didn't have any idea what I was talking about, but um, so they didn't have anything. You see it smoking down there, that's just some penetrating oil burning off. Um, and what I done did, that flange, it is bad. Um, I may try to find me a split flange somewhere. I think you can get them. If I can't find one, I really haven't looked. Um, if I can't find one, I'll, I'm probably just gonna buy a whole new Y pipe. Um, what I did with this one is I just turned the flange 180 degrees, so I just, I turned the holes where the bolts go through to backwards of how it was and it bolted up nice and snug and she's not leaking exhaust there anymore so I say she's good to go for a little while till I decide what I'm gonna do for sure worst case scenario is it's gonna fall off of that flange again and be just like it was which may very well happen I don't know but it's it's locked up there now um, so I, I don't know things could slip and it could it could come down again i imagine um i think you can get these y pipes and i don't think they're horribly expensive 150 200 bucks i think you can probably locate one somewhere and uh what i'd like to do is put it off until this winter if possible and uh put a new y pipe and dual exhaust on it at the same time That'd be a good project for this winter, but anyway, the next thing I'm going to do is get started on the air conditioner. I'm going to take that back hose off and see if I <clears throat> see if I can determine um, where it was leaking from. I wonder why my radiator coolant tank was a little wet up here on top and empty. Huh? It's not like it's always empty. I almost wonder if I have a leak in the thing or something. Radiator's always clear full. Coolant tank's always empty. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull that uh, air conditioning hose off of there and see what the issue is with that. So put a new one on there with new O-rings and try pulling the vacuum and, and see if that fixes it. Because I don't, I don't know what else it could be. So I'll let you know what I find out here um, in just a little bit. Okay, boys and girls, let's warmed up just a little bit out here today. And once again, my floor is getting all damp because of all the humidity and it being insulated in here. The oh, darn things. I got some fans going. But that's the way it is. Everything else is wet, so I know the floor. Um, I got started on my air conditioner. I replaced that uh, that big long hose back there. It has a manifold that goes in the back of the compressor and so on and so forth. Uh, the problem with it was on, this is the old, um, the back of the old compressor, the back half of it, has two O-rings in it, this was one of them, um, yeah it was, I pulled some stringy stuff off of it, it was blown out pretty bad, which I don't quite understand, it doesn't, it almost feels like it's intact, yeah right there is where it's all fucked up I think. 
almost looks like it was just a rotten o-ring to begin with. It very well could have been. It's right there, I bet, is where it was. Right. Yeah. Yeah, right there. I bet is where it was leaking. So I'm pulling a vacuum on it now and I've shut it off. I, had just, I just had it run a couple of minutes and I shut the manifold off and just to see if it was going to go down right away or what and it held for a couple of minutes so I decided to go ahead with it and just pulling her down. Can't get much better than that I don't think as far as pulling the vacuum and uh, So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to let it pull that vacuum for at least an hour and then um, close the manifolds and see if it's going to hold pressure or hold, at least it'll hold a vacuum. I don't know if it'll hold pressure or not. Weird thing is I drove it home from the cabin, whatever the hell day it was, Wednesday afternoon, which was a, I don't know how long it took, two and a half, three hours, something like that. and. Had no problems, drove it to work a couple of, let's see, I drove it to work Thursday and I used the air conditioner. I drove it to work Friday and I used the air conditioner. Um, at noon, come out, got in my truck, started it up, turned on the air conditioner, and well, I think I told you this earlier, and the cab started filling up, it just looked kind of smoky. And I started smelling kind of funny. And anyway, it ended up being blowing Freon and oil everywhere. Sounds worse than it is. Freon, you know, it turns to a gas when it hits air, and and uh, oh, sweat. Um, and the oil it did make a little bit of a mess, but it looks worse than it really is. And actually, it's it's a hell of a lot better than it was. So, problem is, I'm not exactly sure how much oil to put in the thing. I gotta figure that out a little bit, and I can come pretty darn close, I think. If anything, I guess I'd rather have a little bit too much oil than not enough in it. It. Uh, it cooled, it would freeze you out on the way home from the cabin, so even if it doesn't work quite as good as it did, um, it'll work plenty good. That, this air conditioner always, well, it's a different air conditioner now, but it always did work really, really good. Of course, there's not a lot of space in the cab of a single, you know, just a standard cab truck, so it should work good. But anyway, that's what the problem was. Um, Oh, let's see. I got my Freon over here. I got a can of uh, this oil to um, put in through my hoses. There's three ounces in this. I don't know if I'll use the whole thing or not. And I don't know what this Ice 32 Performance Enhancer is. I wish it was just oil and not this fancy crap that they try to make you think is some miracle thing. Um, got this refrigerant which I thought that's what I got before but it's not the stuff I got before was ugh, this stuff which was uh, Johnson's I thought I got DuPont I know I was going to oh I think it was the thing with Amazon that it couldn't ship for several days I don't know what the hell it was but I just get the standard just 134a I don't get it with oil or anything which I I suppose I could have, but I'd, I'd rather add the can of oil in myself and know um, exactly what the hell I'm doing. Um, if you go online, you can find this a lot cheaper. I got this at O'Reilly's and it was, fuck, uh, it was like $11 a can, I believe, which is crazy. I know I've seen it down in Des Moines for, uh, it's got a nice little dent in the book. Huh. Um, I know I've seen it down in Des Moines. Well, so the hell do I guess? For uh, like seven something a can. I think online you can almost get it for like five, five, six dollars a can. And I've got the Prime membership on Amazon, so I get free two day shipping. But and that's probably what I should have done. But it's supposed to be hotter than hell here for the next two or three days. I'm I'm gonna quit for now. I'm gonna let this vacuum down, and uh, um, I'm gonna go up to the house because I'm it's freaking hot out here. It, uh, I know tomorrow it's supposed to be, well, they say 95, but I bet it's going to be 100. That's how it usually turns out. And they're saying 95 with a heat index of 103 because of the humidity. Probably going to be 103 with a heat index of 115 is how it seems to go. So, I don't know. It's going to be damn hot. It's, it's too hot too soon. We're not used to all this hot weather. 
or super hot humid weather it's just it seems to go from cold to insanely hot and humid today it's only like in the mid 80s but man it is so humid out it's just horribly muggy so I'm gonna let this vacuum down um, for at least an hour and then I may come shut it off and um, probably come back out this evening and see if it's still holding the vacuum or not and fill it with uh, refrigerant and really the only other thing I had left that I wanted to do this weekend was to space the uh, um, I wanted to space my bumper out just a little bit my my tires rub on it just like when I back up and if I turn just right they barely rub so I'm just gonna space it out just a smidge um, like maybe get a half inch washer and put it on each of the bolts underneath there um, it's just enough it, it's it, it should be something I shouldn't have to worry about is my damn tires rubbing so if I can do that uh, the only other thing I want to do is I haven't gone back and just checked the torque on everything as far from the lift um, all the brackets and all the uh, the drop brackets and and all that so I need to do that sometime. I did check the torque on my wheels and on my leaf springs, but the front end, I need to check all the torque on that stuff. Other than that, um, I think that's gonna probably do it for the weekend. Really happy that I got my exhaust um, quieted down. It was getting pretty loud. And uh, I, I like a loud exhaust as much as the next guy, but not when it's a leaky loud exhaust. It, it, just didn't have a real good sound to it especially just out of one side it, it I didn't like it um, so I think it'll just seem like a whole different truck when I get the if, if it'll stay fixed if it'll just stay fixed for a little while I'll get a new Y pipe and re I want to put dual exhaust on it all the way to the back so um, I think that's about it so I'm gonna shut you off for now and I'm gonna be coming back down here this evening and uh, we'll go from there. Man, this seems like it is zoomed in on my ugly mug. It is. Um, I need a camera. You know anyway, yeah, I should tell you a little how warm it is right there. She wants to go back in the house. I let her in the house when it's real hot and real cold and it's real hot and she doesn't waste any time busting her way in through the door she's a powerhouse she's a not a huge dog she's a english mastiff but she's got some uh what the hell she had in her some healer or something and so she's not a small horse like some mastiffs are but holy hell she is a she is a strong son of a bitch and uh very protective She's actually turning out to be a, a real good watchdog. And I wish she would just chase that cat out of here. But anyway, enough about the animals and shit. How are we doing here on vacuum? Just like we were. All right, I'm heading up, getting the air conditioning, and uh, I'll catch you guys here in a little bit. All right, well, <laughs> it's, uh, <clears throat> I went up to the house after I started pulling a vacuum on this. Just hold on, I'll show you. And uh, that was about nine o'clock. And I ended up sitting in my chair. And wouldn't you know it, I fell asleep. So here we are, almost three o'clock in the morning. Still rather warm and humid out. Although I didn't, I left, I had three fans going and my floor got dried up, but anyway. Um, oh god, these fucking cats. You guys are probably having more fun watching me shoot these goddamn cats than anything. I filled my water bottle. There's little bastards. There's one. Get it out of here, you dumbass. Look at all these fuckers. They don't like water. Mox, be a dog and get these cats out of here. Yeah, she's been around them her whole life, so pretty used to them. 
Anyway, I like having cats around to keep the mice out, but I don't like them being in my shop. So anyway, uh, so it's been holding the vacuum now for um, six hours. I think we're good to go. Refilling it with some, uh, refilling the system. Hopefully it'll hold this time. Not sure why it blew a uh, blew an O-ring. Um, if you get I'm not quite awake yet, if you get on uh, OBS boys, OBS underscore boys, there's a guy on there. His name's Phil Davis. We're on there, I guess it's Philip Davis, and. Uh, I consider him a good friend of mine. I've gotten to know him pretty well. And he does uh, HVAC stuff. Anyway, I asked him about talking to him about it. And uh, I think the conclusion that we came to was I could have I could have possibly put too much oil in it before and that that may have uh, contributed to blowing that o-ring out he said if it was him he probably wouldn't put any more oil back in it because most of that oil stayed in the another cab stayed in the system so anyway um, anyway I'm not going to uh, I don't think I'm going to put any more any more oil into the system that's going to charge it up and uh, go from there keep an ear open for any weird noises or anything like that coming from the compressor but I know it looked like a mess down in uh, oh right down in in there you can still see some oil I don't know if you can see it or not but it was just coated with oil down in there. When I first looked at it, I thought it was an antifreeze leak, and I, I think I already said that. Tasted it, and it definitely was an antifreeze. But, um, which at the time I was real happy about because I was, I was 45 minutes away at work, and uh, I needed to get home. So, well, hello, kitty. Anyway, um, I need to wake up a little bit. So anyway, we're pulling the vacuum, or holding the vacuum, so we're good to go with charging the system. So I'm going uh, to wake up a little bit. Maybe I need to go make some coffee or something and get busy on this. I don't want to wait till morning. If I wait till morning, I'll wait till noon. Um, and it's supposed to be, we're supposed to have a heat index of... 105, 107, something like that tomorrow, which I'm sure some of you, some of you hear that temperature and go, ah, hell, that's not hot, like if you're from Phoenix or something. Everybody says it's a dry heat. Well, I don't. Personally, I think 100 and, 107 is hot. I don't give a shit if it's dry or not, but um, it's the humidity that makes it so miserable up here anyway, and it just makes it almost. I don't know, you just can't be down here working on stuff when it's that hot. What in the hell are all of you little fuckers doing in here? Get! Good God. Do I need to put a water sprinkler out here? Man. You're curious little bastards, I know that. Anyway, that's where, that's where I sit on this. I'm going to... I gotta wake up and then I'm gonna start charging this thing. I can't believe I fell asleep like that. My whole intention was to come down here and start working on this tonight, which I'm still gonna do, damn it, but it's a little later in the night than I thought it was gonna be. So, anyway, um, I'll bring you back in here in just a little bit. Well, I had this sucker almost full. It was blowing 40 degrees out the vents, or thereabouts. I think it was right at 40. Oh, maybe it still says, I don't know. 
All right, now it's going up. It was down to, it was down to 40. And this new hose that I put on here that I pulled from Wrench and Go has a leak right back here. And you can probably hear it if I push down on this. And it was blowing a little bit of oil and crap out of there. So, tomorrow I'm going to go spend another $30, $40 on Freon. I'm going to put my old hose back on. Um, the spot down here that I thought the line was real corroded, I think, I don't think it's too bad. I think it's pretty solid. Um, I think a lot of that corrosion on there was... Um, I don't know what you'd call it, scaling, surface type rust stuff. Uh, potentially not from um, this line. I'm not sure. The line actually seems really good. It seems really good right up here um, and all the way down. I sprayed it with some Osfo. I took a wire brush to it um, before I did that and it seemed to... What is with these cats? I start talking and they come in. Get out of here, you little bastards. Yeah, you. Anyway, so I'll be doing that first thing in the morning, running into the part store and getting more refrigerant. Before long, it would have been cheaper probably just to have it take it somewhere and have them fill it. Um, well, not really, because I would have to. I would have been paying for the the refrigerant anyway. So been kind of a mess back there. God damn it. So anyway, I'm just going to let that slowly leak out over the next several hours. I imagine it's pretty much just uh, vaporizing. Not much I can do about it. I, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't have any way to, to recuperate that. I know you're not supposed to let that, you know, into the atmosphere, but I have no way of stopping it. So... Anyway, um, I'm going to have to let that bleed off and then um, get more refrigerant, put that other hose back on, and try it again. If that doesn't work, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Give up. It, it should. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong with that other, other line. So... Anyway, it must be, I don't know what the hell time it is. It's 4.35. 4.35 in the morning. I didn't want to do this tomorrow because it's going to be so damn hot. So I'm going to have to get up there as soon as they open and get the stuff that I need. Um, if that would bleed off of there a little faster, I could get that hose off. But it, it only takes, I mean, literally it takes about five minutes to swap that hose out. So that's not a big deal. And then I can get to filling it again. It's really kind of... Oh, I thought I found myself a decent hose. Um, that's one part that I may end up taking back. Being that they do warranty their parts. Um, and it cost me... Not a whole lot. I think it was $22. I should have known better. God damn it. But a new one's like 75, so, you know, it looked like it was in pretty good shape. So I, I did try to put a hose clamp around it with a piece of, uh, I cut a piece of, um, this isn't the piece, but that one might be though. I, know, I tried putting a piece of uh, radiator hose inside the clamp and clamping it down, and that did nothing but make it worse, so. Screw it. I'm not going to try to MacGyver it together. I'm going to going to have to um, get a different line. So I guess I'll put my old one back on because it, it held good. It just blew an O-ring out, which I don't think with the hose's fault. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. So anyway, I will... Uh, I'll see you in the morning. I guess I'll go back up to the house and... Shit, it's almost almost time I usually get up anyway, and I'm pretty wide awake now, so... 
go see what time the parts store opens and get up there first thing. So I'll catch you, catch you in a few hours. Okay, so I went to the parts store a little bit ago and I got my Freon. I got, sorry, got an O-ring kit but didn't have the size O-ring that I need, which is this here one. Um, they didn't have anything near big enough so I'm gonna have to reuse the ones that are in the compressor and hope they work. Um, I went ahead and cleaned this this hose up. I auspoed that rusty line there. Took a wire brush to it and then I painted it. So hopefully that'll last for a while. The hose actually seemed to be pretty good. It just it seemed like it had some just some scale on it, but I'm not sure where the hell it came from. The hose really seems to be pretty much intact. Um, so. I'm going to reuse it and have to get the the uh, O-rings off of the compressor and hope they turn out okay. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do. So anyway, I'm going to get to work taking this back apart and putting that new hose on it. Pulling a vacuum and then filling it full of, filling it full of Freon again. So um, that's what's going on. Okay, well, I just got done taking it for a drive. I got it filled with Freon and charged up and everything, and it is, well, you can see how warm it is. I'm not sure that's the actual temperature. I might be getting some heat off my truck, I'm not sure. It's got to be in the 90s and the heat index well over 100. It's fucking hot. Um, <clears throat> it was blowing, uh, it was blowing 40 degrees. Shut it off just a little bit ago. It's it's still I don't know, middle to upper 50s, but um, it's blowing 40 on max. If I took it off max, it'd go up to like around 60, which I don't think that's too bad when it's this hot outside. So hopefully we don't spring another leak anytime soon. My exhaust uh, still leaks just a little tiny bit, but it's like. 90% better than it was so I'm gonna live with that for now. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna get out of this heat and see if I can find a uh, uh, split flange to put on that exhaust. Um, other than that I think that's about it for this weekend so um, anyway yeah appreciate you uh, appreciate you watching and uh, one of these days I'll get into something fun. I keep doing these things that I have to do, but that's what happens when you when you build a truck and it hasn't been driven for a while. There's gonna be some things that you have to fix. But anyway, um, I think that's all. So please like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.